this is the unit he has a solar panel and a charge controller and two pipes sticking out one is uh, I can hardly see it it's called out so that's the water is coming out another one it's called the in that's the water coming in now I'll show how it pumps the water from that drain and that's actually our uh, uh, drain with the clean water it goes into the lake so it's not a sewer or anything so it's that long garden hose uh, it's about 80 feet down there from here and the hose is completely dry so there's no water in there so we connect this end of the hose and let's go drop the other end into the water We attach a full foot well on the end, so uh, there will be no debris or uh, leaves or dirt coming into the hose. Okay, it's all attached. And now uh, let's drop it in the water. Mm, that's good enough. Now let's go back to the unit. And attach a sprinkler, uh, just a regular garden sprinkler, uh, to the out. All right, it's good enough. All we have to do is just to turn it on here. And it's programmed to uh, uh, just to start the pump right away after pressing the on button, and we'll see how that works. We'll take about a minute or two to get the water in, uh, maybe less.
Okay, it looks like it got water. Here's the sprinkler. So you see it has enough pressure to operate it uh, decently. I'm saying the water is free because it's coming from the drain. And that's pretty much how it works. Don't have to do anything, just keep it out in the sun. We'll keep on working for about 40 minutes because the battery is fully charged right now. And then we'll turn off and we'll take about 3 to 4 hours to charge it again. And then it will, uh, if you don't turn it off uh, manually using the switch, then it will turn on again by itself and we'll keep doing it until until you turn the switch off. Or if you want to just stop it, you can just press the button to stop. Or right, then decided you want to do it. it. Starts again. So pretty easy to operate. And then uh, Okay, let's just shut it on.